this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of Benham. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chip. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 263 pounds. Fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, Big Train. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the U.S. Big punch land. Ooh. Try to establish that jab. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Straight right hand now just misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh man, his 
leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as opponents start to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, got him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. That kick in the head, and he's still standing. He is all about that left kick to the body. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Just over three minutes to go now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Slip and counter by Lee. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice. Just misses with the jab. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. with the jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Let's go. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Protect his head. 
is doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, and the volume of leg kicks just continues to rain down. How long does it take as a fighter for you to start? Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Punch over the top. Set it off. Oh, oh, he his plans and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Back and forth we go. Huge block there. And he landed the right hand there. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offering. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Lands flush with that right hand. Great punch landing with so much power. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice defense there, huge block. Counters with the straight leg. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful body kick. Nice. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Pretty good right hand. victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Big Bang. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was...